Brothers and sisters of this celestial energy, this brother wisdom. Well, you know, I um, I posted a video um, earlier uh, talking about the change that we can make. I want to speak on that because um, it's very important that we understand this change. Remember the video that um, that was posted about uh, how um, the cosmos is nothing but space inside of the space of bodies called universes inside of these universes are called uh, uh, the the uh, organs of the universe called galaxies inside these galaxies are the atoms that run the organs inside of the atoms are the the micro atoms call us uh, celestial energy beings we so-called black people all over the, the the universe and the cosmos what we must understand is that it, and it's something that 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 uh, that we've been talking about for a while we being the quantum energy of the quantum particles of this world we are the only beings on this planet who literally have the ability to change the outcome of everything on the planet. That's why everything is shifting now because we have awakened. It's not our enemies. You know, they, they think they, they're coming into an awakening, but it's not the awakening that, that is coming for us. Their awakening is more so an awakening to say, hey, I don't have to deal with this. It's fake. It's da 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 da. Our awakening goes way back because we literally created this planet and we created everything on this planet and we had a, a parasite an enemy who invaded and destroyed everything in the past times in our past lives they literally destroyed everything to reshape this atom of our uh, 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 galaxy all right they did this to reshape the atom of our galaxy our atom which is our planet into a, a, a world that they want it to be. Believe me, there is there are <laughs> millions, trillions of atoms that run this galaxy. But just one out of balance can offset everything else. That's all you need is one atom out of balance. So we as the quantum particles of this world have the very powerful ability to shift everything into a whole new perspective. Just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it will remain the same in the present. By us linking within ourselves, we have the ability to shift the scope of time. Everything flows on the energy. It doesn't matter whether it was a destructive energy or whether it was a building creative energy, everything works on energy. So because these earth beings have came and they have um, uh, literally uh, cap made, made out, captivated our energies, imprisoned our energies for their purposes, doesn't mean that things cannot shift back into the perspective that we need it to shift. This is the whole point of the awakening, linking back into this whole scope of, of, of past life uh, 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 principles. But it's not so much of trying to find out who we were in our past lives and trying to become that in our past lives. It's all about us shifting the present so that everything that was in the past can shift also. This is the whole part of linking into this quantum energy that belongs to us, all right? This is the whole part of linking to this quantum energy. It is all about us using the power within us to change our present. We talked about this here. Using the power within us to change our present so that we can have a better life today, but you got to understand what's, what's, what's really going on. 
using the quantum energy within us to change the present also changes the past. We're not going back in the past. We're not, we're, you know, we, we, we do time travel. We're not going back in the past and trying to change things. What we're doing right now is everything that these beings have done on our planet in present day, because we have made that, uh, that, that, uh, 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 awareness within ourselves to awaken to who we really are, the, the true quantum beings. And it only takes a few of us. That's all it takes. It takes, it takes a few micro atoms to literally awaken, to shift the whole uh, 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 body of that atom. That's all it takes. Just because all the micro atoms are not uh, uh, awakened to the, to the true energy of, of, of what they belong to doesn't mean that the, the, the atom as a whole won't change because it's changing. So it only takes a few micro atoms and we are literally quantum, uh, 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 quantum particles. And what happened, what's happening is these quantum particles that we are, are coming together. We were once broken apart by these orc beings, you know, because at one point in time on the planet, we were all together as one. But then uh, an, an, an enemy came and disrupted the nature of our unity and caused us to become uh, um, um, ununified. OK, caused us to become discombobulated, caused us to become separated from one another. OK, so what has happened is. Because you have a few of these quantum particles, which are us, the micro atoms, the quantum particles who have joined together. Now we're shaping the planet, which is our atom, back into the force that it's supposed to be because quantum energy is a force. Now, what's happening is because we made a decision to awaken and we are now coming together as one the energy of the past, the energy that's already passed us by is also reshaping. Understand that. So whatever these orc beings are doing now to try to destroy and to try to, uh, to hold us down even harder and heavier. Remember we talked about last night. Remember we talked about say, Hey, how they, they tried everything and we, and we becoming more powerful. They're using our own elements to try to hold us down and we're now becoming more powerful. Everything that they're doing present day now to 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 try to keep us in the past tense when they first came is shifting, which now well, which which now it means that whatever they did in the past. All that energy in the past that happened. Is shifting as if it never happened before. Because we made a decision to link into this quantum energy. Now, this quantum energy. Now, someone asked uh, on the last video, said, well, how do we go into the satanic realm or whatever, 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 you know? So I, I'm like, you know, it's Hakil, Hakil, you know? He said, how do we link into, how do I link into the satanic realm? The satanic realm is nothing but hyper concentrated quantum energy where you're no longer believing in yourself. You're, you're beyond believing in yourself. You are now in the know. I know who I am. And it's not about you going to the past, trying to find out who you were in the past because we were many different quantum beings in our past lives. But now we're here more advanced beings than what we were in our past lives. So each life we become more advanced. But now what are we talking about now? We no longer have to die in order to get that advancement. In order to get that ascension, we no longer have to die. Now we have the ability and these hyper uh, uh, quantum bodies that we're in now, these carbon bodies, we have the ability to ascend in the present which now will reshape our future. All right. So it's all about you being in the now, you knowing who you are. You can link into this entire system that they created on the planet because everything is within the Internet, the internal networking system. 
They work everything through the internet and whatever they don't work through the internet, we are nature, which means that we can pinpoint where they are and we can link into their systems and we can reshape their systems. So if they want to, they want to blow out uh, uh, cold air and, 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 uh, um, and want to uh, make it snow with um, this dry ice, we have the ability to link into their system and shift this energy so that what, what happens? Well, you want to blow out air? Okay, cool. I'm going to link into the system and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to link into the system. And I'm going to hyper carbonize your system so that it'll blow out nothing but pure carbon, which makes us more powerful. Now you're raising the carbon energy on the planet. You say, okay, well, you want to do this? Okay, well, I want to, I'm going to uh, uh, um, increase the dark energy in that system so that everything that you create now produces more dark energy. So what you're doing now is you're linking into the present and changing the whole scope of the present day, which changes the past as if it never happened, which now you have literally reshaped the future for what it's supposed to be in the future tense and no longer in a past tense manner. You say, well, we're going to destroy the money. We're going to destroy it. Okay, yeah. You're looking into their system. You're destroying their money. You're destroying their systems. The stock market has gone haywire. We did all that meditation for the money, the stock market, all that. All that stuff is, is, is literally being destroyed. That energy is there. That energy is working. Now we work on ourselves as we work on ourselves and go into the quantum energy, the quantum realm. We want to go into this dark energy. So now you want to go into highly quantum dark energy. This is the satanic realm. When you go into that quantum realm, that quantum is highly concentrated quantum energy where you're doing the chants and you're doing your Tai Chi. And now you know that I am quantum energy. I am that power. I am that energy. There is nothing that can phase me. This is the whole point of the movement of the matrix. He went into that quantum realm. We talked about that before. He went into that quantum realm. And when he began stopping the bullets that they fired at him, he literally changed the past. It led, and, and basically he reshaped the future by saying, hey, you can't kill me now. So because you can't kill me now, all the ancestors that you killed in the past and now have the ability to come back. And now we're reshaping the future. That's the whole point of this hyper quantum realm. It's us reshaping the present day. When we realize that we are not human, when we realize that we are not mass, when we realize that we are not matter, that we are literally dark energy in the form of these carbon bodies. When we realize that and come into that knowledge, that's when we completely reshape the entire scope of the present day. Now you link into the quantum realm. You look into the hyper concentrated quantum realm, the demonic forces, the satanic realm, the true Christ energy, the dark powers, the black magic, everything. Now you link into the now which causes our enemies to fall before us and beg for mercy because we will show them none as they showed us none, which we now begin to reshape our present in order to change the past and to shape the future the way we want it to be. That's the secret to the dark forces. That is the secret to the dark energy. That is the secret to black energy, black magic. You living in the present now, changing the quantum energy. We as the quantum particles, now we come together as one all over the world. We may seem separated 
but we're together and we're reshaping the present and destroying something that's unnatural and bringing it into the natural. We have that ability. So you want to heat up the planet, heat it up in the land where you live in the area where you live in is cold and all that. You don't complain about the cold link into that system that's making it cold there and heat it up. Find the go within yourselves and pull up the, 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 the ancient, the, the ancient texts, which these symbols. And, and I, I keep showing you guys these symbols because why it's within you. And as you put your hand over them, you will notice that they belong to you. These are dark energy symbols, symbols of the of, 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 the, of the satanic realm, quantum energy. That's all the satanic realm is, is highly concentrated quantum energy. That's all it is. So the religious thing says, oh, it was, it's, it's evil. Why do these these, these orc beings call it evil? Because they can't tap into this quantum realm. They call it Satan. Satan, the, the satanic realm and the Christ, the Christ energy uh, uh, dimension is uh, they are all the same. It's just what from one level to the other level to the next level, which is all within the quantum realm. You got the quantum particles that link in with them themselves. And these quantum particles, which are us, when we link into ourselves, we tap into that quantum realm. All right. What they call dark energy or dark forces which they call the satanic realm. That's the base of it. And as we grow higher we're from, from, that, from that quantum realm, we link into the hyper powerful quantum force, all right, which is dark matter, that carbon. And that's when we get into from that quantum realm, that darkness, that carbon, we create the light, which is that Christ energy. Then this is when we tap into the demonic forces because we are linked into the quantum realm. Which the power that is within us, that quantum energy power that's within us, we're able to exert it from our bodies. And because we exert it from our bodies, now we have become the almighty. The all seeing eye, the all knowing where that owl that our represents that 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 powerful being that can see everything. Our head can turn all the way around 360 degrees. That's that owl. The all seeing eye. Hmm. Quantum realm. <laughs> I hope you guys understand this. Go into your meditative state. Tap into that quantum energy, that quantum realm, and you're going to find yourself more powerful than ever. Remember, when you link into the present, you shift everything that happened in the past as if it never happened before. All right, guys. All power to the multi-chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you all.